Now, sadly, it doesn't seem where you go nowadays. Someone will have been there before you, and they'll leave all their rubbish behind. But these plastic bottles, they're widely recyclable. People should just take them home, put them in the bin, council will deal with it. But they can also have a fairly good use if you're in a survival situation. So let's see what we can do with them. Now, this plastic bottle that I'm using here is a relatively clean one. It was just a, an old lemonade bottle from the house. So I know what's inside it, rather than some random one I've picked up off the floor whilst out and about. But, you know, it still works for demonstration purposes. It just means that I, you know, I know that if there's any liquid inside this, it was just lemonade. So, you could use the bottom as a container, obviously, if you cut them in half. And the top is a funnel, but I'm going to just use the cap for now. So roughly in the middle, I'm going to make a couple of horizontal cuts using my uh, good old Swiss Army knife. Because obviously if you were out and about, you know, in, in an emergency situation, you might just have what was in your pockets. And every pocket should have a Swiss Army knife in my opinion. Now just be a bit careful when you're using these things when you're trying to push holes into things because obviously it's not a locking blade. So knife safety first. Like I say, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Um, and the distance you have from the base of the cap to the edge will determine how wide your cordage is. Okay, if you hope you can see that properly. Now, if we imagine that those two horizontal cuts were at three o'clock and nine o'clock on a, on a clock face, between twelve and six, we'll do two vertical cuts. Okay, so that's the sides cut all the way through. Now, you can make the cordage just by doing this. Just you know, it's a bit fiddly, but you could just work your blade around and keep spinning the bottle all the way around and you'd get your cordage but it's difficult to keep it of a, a uniform consistent width that's why we've uh, but that's why we've cut these little cuts on the cap all right so there we are so we have the the bottle goes through the two vertical cuts with the tart the, the the little starty bit that we had underneath the blade if you can see that there and then you could just pull the loose bit now but I find it's a little bit easier if I have it the other way around so I can keep downward pressure on the cap as I'm pulling it. And then you just pull the loose bit and away you go. It'll start cutting cordage of a, a reasonably uniform dimensions. And at any point you want, you simply just cut it off by not putting the downward pressure on anymore. So it depends what sort of lengths you'd want. I mean, you could go the whole way through a bottle if you wanted. Generally speaking, I, I just do a few turns like this. And that gives you a piece of cordage that's, I don't know, a foot and a half, two foot long. Which is pretty good for most lashing things. So there you go, a little survival use for plastic bottles you might find lying around on the floor. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, take care.